Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing out here in the PC Mag Labs. I am Sasha Segan, this is Jim Fisher, and we are gimbling around today. We are gimbal gambling uh, here at PC Mag. Now, if you are watching us live on Facebook, then please come in, join us, join the conversation, uh, ask questions, add comments. Social Pete here will read them out to us and we will have a discussion. If you are watching us later on YouTube, then please like and subscribe. We have a new One Cool Thing every weekday, which is not a national holiday in the United States. So today, but not tomorrow, because tomorrow is July 4th. Uh, but uh, today we have this interesting accessory here that Jim is busily uh, busily filming me with. If I sound a little distracted, it's because I just came back from China. And if you have any questions about China, then ask me. I know nothing. We'll see what kind of answers come out of my mouth. Um, this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. And now the first thing that comes out of my head when I think about this is, wait a minute, aren't they a drone company? Uh, DJI is a camera company. Okay. DJI is 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 has moved beyond uh, being just a drone company. DJI now has its own lens system for the Inspire series. DJI owns some unspecified portion of Hasselblad. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I go down to the DJI office in New York to, to take a meeting, there is a Hasselblad uh, 500C, one of the originals that came to the U.S. under glass there, and both logos are on the door now. Okay. So uh, DJI is a camera company. Okay. And 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 you know, one of the reasons drones work so well is their camera are stabilized with a brushless three-axis gimbal, mm -hmm. which is what I've got here for my phone. And even though I'm doing weird things I would never do in real life when shooting video with my hand, the phone is perfectly level and smooth. Okay, so so this is so this is a gimbal for your phone, and uh, what is it letting us do other than simply stabilize? Uh, it's got some cool things that it does based on the uh, on the stabilization you know system. It will, in addition to just stabilizing video, you can shoot moving time lapse with it. You can set it up on a tripod. It's got a socket here on the bottom of the handle. Mm -hmm. It's an internal battery, uh, which allows them to put a tripod socket on there instead of having a battery door at the bottom. Uh, and you can do time lapse. You can do moving time lapse where the camera will pan from point A to point B, and you can set this up in the app to move. You can do hyperlapse where I've you know taking a picture every half a second or 10 seconds or whatever, walking around while moving the gimbal uh, and kind of get this smooth motion of, of time lapse. Now, now it's not just, now once again, it's not just stabilizing. You have a control there, right? Yeah, you have I, have a, I have a joystick here to move the camera around and you can choose whether uh, you can invert either axis in the app if you like the which way you you know if you want to have the inversion inversion in your mind for for controlling it like a flight stick or like a joypad depending on what your preference is there oh i forgot to mention also in addition to time lapse and hyperlapse it does stitch panoramas although at low resolution now what phones does this work with uh ios and android but any ios or android phone uh modern ones okay. uh I, past few years i'd have to look i'd have to look up and see what the app uh, compatibility is that's not something I invested in too heavily. You probably want to pair this with a modern phone because mm -hmm. you want to have good quality 4K video. I, I guess I'm just asking because I know that there's some, like for instance, uh, some Samsung accessories that only work with Samsung Android phones. Oh no, no, no. This will, any, any, the brand doesn't matter. The operating system and camera capabilities probably do more. Uh, this has got an adjustable balance uh, here. Mm -hmm. So if your phone, whoops. Oh, sorry, sorry. Me. Well, I did something I wasn't supposed to do. I, I started adjusting the balance uh -huh. here. Uh, but I'm saying if you have a smaller phone than the iPhone 8 Plus, which we have in there, you can slide this in uh -huh. to better balance. And you can also move this around and shoot in vertical orientation if you are a big, you know, uh, Snapchatter or Instagram to, stories person. If you want to go 90. Yeah. Is that a thing? Not anymore. Okay. Uh, let's, let's take a question. Do they make uh, an equivalent gadget for action cameras like GoPro? Uh... DJI does not, GoPro does. GoPro has its Karma Grip, which originally shipped with the Karma Drone, which is no longer a thing that mm. exists in the world. Uh, but you can still buy the Karma Grip, which is, uh, uh, I can actually run to my desk and get one if we wanted to do a side-by-side. -side. Uh, it's just a little, it looks very similar to this. It's black, it's got a shell here to, to mount your GoPro Hero 5, Hero, or Hero 6 black into. Uh, but yeah, and I think you can actually get the, you can also get a, a custom one to do an accessory to mount the Hero 4 series with it as well. 
Now this is the Osmo Mobile 2. What was the Osmo Mobile 1? What's the difference? Very similar uh, in concept. I didn't actually use the original Osmo Mobile. I used the Osmo, which had a fixed camera mm -hmm. uh, that, that DJI provided. It was the same camera as on the, uh, the first Inspire drone. Mm -hmm. uh, this has a much longer battery life. This is rated for up to 15 hours of use with an internal rechargeable lithium-ion battery. It's a little micro USB port here on the mm -hmm. side. This is significantly cheaper. I think the original Osmo Mobile was oh, more than 200. And this one's 129. 129. Right? Nice, nice. Uh, and you know, aside from a few little things the app doesn't do, I like it a lot. Uh, I gave it an Editor's Choice Award. I uh, probably would have given it a four and a half if the app was a little more capable. So let's talk about the app. Does the app replace your camera app? Do you have to use the app to take your photos and videos? You don't have to use the app, uh, which is one of the reasons I gave it an Editor's Choice, because I can go here in my actual iPhone camera app and switch over to video mode. And I can do everything here. And you, as you can see, I'm in 4K24 here. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas the GoPro, the I'm sorry, the DJI Go app, which we use to do things and record is uh, limited to 4K at 30 frames a second. It doesn't do 24 frames for, for whatever reason. So why would you want to use the DJI Go app? What sort of functionality does it does? It does the, the hyperlapse and the time lapse. Okay. Uh, it also does the panoramic stitching. And you can do various levels of stitching up to like 27 shots for mm -hmm. a really wide pano. The downside is because it is processing these and the, the stitching that's done in phone, mm -hmm. uh, you're limited in resolution. It really down, even though each shot I'm taking is 12 megapixels, the output for the 27 shot panorama is like a five megapixel image. Mm -hmm. So you're really losing a lot of resolution there. Mm -hmm. Any more questions out there? Okay, I think you touched on this earlier, but you can flip the camera and if yeah, you just you know, want to be can in do that. Mode. We can do that right now. Let me turn this thing off because we need to rebalance it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just power this guy down show how easy this is to do. So there is a little thing here on the cradle. I'm going to unscrew that to get rid of the lock. And I am going to pull this out. And so now this is when also you rotate could it. You could be resizing it for a different size of phone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a different, that, the different size of phone is this connector here. Okay. This slides it in and out for the iPhone mm -hmm. 8 mm -hmm. Plus. We want to have it real big and far out. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a smaller phone, if you have even an iPhone SE, mm -hmm. you know, you can use it, you just have a different setting. So then we just put this cradle in here this away. Uh, and you can see I have my case left on here. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't fit perfectly, but it fits with the, uh, mm -hmm. this Apple case on. The bulkier cases you may have to take off. Uh, so now I've got this vertical, so I'm going to rebalance it. Clunk. There we go. Oh, clunk. Clunk. Okay, sorry. All right, okay, uh, live, demo, live demo problems. Hey! Live demo <laughs> problems, our favorite. Let's take another question while we... While I'm while, fiddling while this, yeah. With this. Have you reviewed the Smooth Q gimbal? No, we haven't looked at a lot of different gimbals. Uh, this is kind of a nascent market. Uh, videographers have been into them for a couple years now, but now we're seeing more consumer adoption. Uh, so right now, this, this and the original Osmo uh, that are the only two we've looked at. And it more comes out of, uh, I, feel like, I feel like this more comes out of our familiarity with DJI products than with uh, than with reviewing the gimbal category as a whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the fact that we review most of the stuff that DJI produces, and now they happen to produce a gimbal. Yeah, and they produce other gimbals. I mean, they've they've had the Ronin series for a long uh -huh. time, which is the higher end version, mm -hmm. and they have a new Ronin S, which uh, I've been uh, you know we have the option reviewing. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if we're going to or not. Uh, just because it's a little more niche and, mm -hmm. and we need to look at it with different cameras and mm -hmm. things. It's, it's designed for SLRs and mirrorless cameras. Mm -hmm. We have another question out there. Is it better to use an Android phone or iPhone with this? Uh, I didn't actually try with an Android phone. I'm an iOS guy. Uh, I use Android phones when I have products to review that don't work with iPhones, mm -hmm. but there aren't that many. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it should work equally well. Mm -hmm. I, I mean. The actual thing that this does, aside from the app, is done independent of the app. What is the battery life like? Uh, I never had to recharge it when I was testing it. Okay, so I mean, it sat in my long. Sat, it sat it sat unused for a couple weeks. Uh -huh. uh, you know, at one point when I was really I was really busy or on the road or something, uh -huh. and I came back and I had to top it off. But I never worried about it. With 15 hours of, of life on a full charge, uh -huh. theoretically, it's going to outlive your phone. And that's 15 hours of moving it around. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you're just letting it be stable, it's longer than that. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, any more questions out there? No, so, okay, so this is the DJI Osmo Mobile 2. It is a, it is an editor's choice for mobile gimbals? Yeah, for gimbals. Okay. Uh, for, for videographers who the optical stabilization on your phone is not good enough, you mm -hmm. want to be able to have these pan movements, you want to be able to turn it around and shoot selfie video with your rear camera for your vlog, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. You can turn all the way around if we wanted to. Uh, and you can adjust the speed in the app to how fast it turns. Yeah, I kind of wish I had taken this to China. I kind of wish you had. <laughs> Jim, has, Jim's, Jim has seen my video. It's not so great. But, no, uh, no, 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 no. I wasn't. I just. I thought you could get some cool stuff while you're there. I, I certainly could have. Uh, but yeah, so we definitely recommend it. $129. The DJI Osmo Mobile 2 uh, works with iOS and Android phones currently on the market. We gave it four stars in Editor's Choice. The full review is up on PCMag.com. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been One Cool Thing with PCMag.com. Uh, if you are watching us live on Facebook, thank you for joining the conversation. We will be back on Thursday because Wednesday is July 4th, a national holiday here in the United States. Uh, if you are watching us on YouTube, return anytime. We have several new One Cool Things a week.